Everesting challenge essentially is riding up a hill um, repeatedly until you achieve the elevation of Mount Everest above sea level, which is 8,848 meters. I got interested in the Everesting challenge and I thought there might be a way to leverage existing data to try to figure out what the optimal conditions are to um, pursue an Everesting challenge and to complete it with in the shortest time possible. Uh, we came across a website called everesting.cc where people who have participated in the Everesting challenge can upload their Strava data, um, so GPS data of their attempt and it gets cataloged on that website. And so we build a database and use that database then to try to understand which parameters uh, play an important role in successful Everesting attempts. So essentially an Everesting attempt comes down to two things. Um, there is the power per unit mass. Um, it's, you know, what is always true is that the harder you push the paddles, the faster you go and the shorter the time will be to complete the Everesting attempt. And that turns out to be the most important parameter, which is unsurprising. Um, the second uh, important aspect here is that there is a balance between gradient and distance. The steeper the gradient that you select, the shorter the distance you'll have to um, uh, bike to get to the vertical elevation gain that you need to achieve, but also the harder it is to get up that hill because it's steeper. Uh, what was perhaps one of the surprising findings of, uh, of the study was that the number of hill repeats uh, does not seem to have an influence at all in, in the success of uh, completing the Everesting challenge. So taking a long hill where there are longer intervals between recovery where you go uphill and downhill versus taking short hills where you have that um, higher frequency of recovery um, but you also spend more time braking and turning at the top and the bottom of the hill. Uh, those two things seem to balance each other out and so there doesn't seem to be an effect in terms of the number of hill repeats that you select or the length of the hill that you select to complete the Everesting Challenge.